There was a time when a phone was just a phone. Nowadays, we want to customize them. We want to personalize them. We want to get them in all kinds of different colors. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Here's how you can make your Nexus 4 look like a mahogany Moto X. This is my Nexus 4. On the front is a very nice piece of glass with rounded over edges that I, I just love the way this thing feels. On the back, however, is another sheet of glass that's very, very slippery. So when you hold it, there's a good possibility it's going to slip right out of your hands. And mine did. And that's what ended up in it being broken. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll have a link for you down in the description. Over here on the back, you can see I have covered up that glass with a uh, little adhesive cover from a company called D-Brand. This just fits on the back. This one's a nice bright yellow faux leather finish and it adds just enough grip that I've never had a problem dropping this and really makes my, my phone stand out. And a lot of people now recognize this as a Nexus device when I'm out and using it in public, whereas before they always wondered what phone I had. Oh, that's a Nexus because it calls it out. Well, now that the Moto X is out and will be available soon in, well, wood, which I think is cool by the way, I want to do something with this to make it look more like that. And the answer is a new product that they just came out with called Mahogany. So let's go ahead and unbox this. This is from D-Brand and they say they are the boss of vinyl skins. We'll just unbox this really fast. There's, there's the unboxing, just a nice plastic sleeve. There's their brand if you want to know where you can get yours. And uh, this, this isn't anything that they sent us for free or anything. I bought this because I am a fan of their products. So here's the vinyl skin. Uh, it has a little bit of grip to it, which is nice. And uh, it looks like wood grain. It's not really wood, but it looks a lot like it. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the back of our Nexus 4. So we first need to take off what we already have. And I cheated a little bit. Off camera, I already started the corner. So I'm going to just lift this off and I will uh, save this for later use. And we just peel it just like that, being a little bit careful around the lettering and just like that. And now you can see there's my, the back of my device right there. It's got a little bit, I thought I had a little bit of goober on it, but it doesn't. So we're, we're good to go. Next thing that we want to do is put this down. Now this isn't like a screen protector. You don't have to be nearly as precise with it. What you do want to do is just take it off the back. So that's what I've done. Took it off the backing very quick, very easy. And then you simply line it up with your camera hole, your flash and your speaker. So I'm going to uh, stop looking at the camera and start doing this down here. It is a pretty precise fit, but the adhesive is a very forgiving. So as long as you don't press it down really good, you can lift and, uh, and reapply, and it's not terribly difficult. The nice thing about the Nexus 4 specifically is you've got this nice reference point in this corner and in that corner, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is good. Set it down, and then you'll wanna spend a little bit of time right here pushing down in your cutouts. You can get it without the word Nexus cut out if you desire. Uh, I personally like it, but there you go. Nexus 4, wood grain. And when I turn it on, let me unlock this with my face. I've also got a matching wood grain background from the Moto X. So there you go, a wood grained Nexus 4, thanks to our friends over at Dbrand Inc. Now this is not quite as grippy as the fake leather that I had on there before, but it still is really good. I have a lot of tack to it. It's not something that's gonna slip and fall out of my hand like the naked Nexus 4 wood with its glass back. I like it quite a lot. And as you can see there, installation is not nearly as difficult as you may think that it is. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you'll want to make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff that we've got in the pipe. If you're on social media, why not share this video with your friends? We're at PocketNow on Twitter, and I'm at Joe Levi. We'll catch you next time.